Very interesting. Obviously, both very experienced in this matchup. DM has done it before. Yeah. But I believe the record is a lot to a little yeah, in sure. Rafi's favor. At some point, you must get sick and tired of being sick and tired, right? Like, right. There's, there's only so much you can do. Speaking of so much, bro, why do all those jabs do like 15? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but these down tilts do twice as much. <laughs> oh, my God. I guess what goes around comes around, man. Mm -hmm. Already starting off in this game one. And, I mean, you were talking about how we always see these guys do it, but you said it right has done it before, but right. generally, uh, Rafi's the one to kind of walk away with a W uh, more often than not. And we're already seeing like that may be the case for today. We're going to see if DM's feeling uh, particularly saucy. What's the answer? Yeah, I don't know, but so far it looks like the Rafi show. All the combos have been pretty Rafi centric, short from those jabs to start off the game. But he hasn't been able to land the hit just yet that he needs until I said that. Yeah, that was a, kind of a crazy scoop from the forward motion right there, just kind of zooming. DM into it and just killing him off the sides. So now DM uh, down by a hefty amount already. It really doesn't seem like he's not in a moment to start something off in neutral. We've seen him do his lightning loop with the neutral air quite a bit, uh, but hasn't been able to land those yet to set. Exactly. Right. He's only been able to get like one or two hits. We haven't seen all the crazy combos that Pikachu and DM are known for. Just trying to get one or two hits for every neutral opening so far. It's working out all right, but he's going to need to make something crazy happen soon. Him down here. Here we go. The forward air right over the gyro. He's able to interrupt Rafi, but still can't find the KO. Probably gonna need like maybe 10 to 15 some odd more percent to really confirm it. These hits should bring him right to that kill Ooh. potential. Perfect timing from DM, knowing exactly when to let that up smash rip. Definitely great stuff catching the landing. He's been so good at that in their career. So good to see he still got it when it matters. Rafi stuck off stage too. Another good thing. DM is pretty much mastered. Yeah, at that point, he's DM taking a little while to sit in the shield there. Mm. You have to wonder, like, all right, if I know Rap is going to go for the down tilt several times in a row, I, I think it's about time I'll probably jump out and hit him with something. Exactly. And now it was on DM with a pretty solid lead so far. The hits have been connecting. The down tilts haven't been connecting for Rafi, so. But the thing is, for Rafi, it doesn't even matter because he's not really getting punished for it. Ooh, right. give me frame drop. Yum. Hell yeah. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen next? <laughs> <laughs> all right, going to land with... The Nair here, of course. DM tries to move around it, but not quite. Just giving up the stage control. Rafi on the hunt now. Oh, well, Skull Bash news. <laughs> How much he wanted at all. Oh, my God. The nice, nice setup. There it is. The quick attack. Not getting caught up by that side B, though. Maybe a back throw knocking Rafi off stage. Oh, man. He almost had it, actually. Let's see what DM's able to find here. He's doing a very good job. Already managed to pull himself in a percent lead, if only slightly. But he's looking for that KO now. You know, as I said before, he needs maybe one more hit. Up smash uh, will now KO. All right. Ravi with a pretty big grab, but DM just pummeling out, or no, mashing out of it during the pummel. Big opportunity for Ravi, but going to have to make something else happen instead. Nope. Oh, that's going to be it. Yep. I like the ambition from DM, but the shield comes up for Rafi just in time. He knew. Yeah. He was like, all right, well, you, you whip this one, and this is a pretty easy punch for me. That's the thing. Do a smash attack on shield. Unless you're like Wolf or something. Right. A lot of characters in the game generally can get a smash attack punish, depending on how much M lag it has. Mm -hmm. Nice get up attack from Rafi. Not an option we saw a lot, and obviously it's why it worked. DM was not ready for it. Nice. I like the idea ah. from Rafi. I'm actually loving Rafi's movement. That time he got caught there, but we've seen him uh, just perfectly decide when to move back in sync. Right. With when DM wants to move forward. It's been paying out for him quite well. Here we go. We have Rafi control the center stage. And oh my god, I've seen the assist from this gyro one too many times today. We were watching Rafi X versus Dill. Oh, oh, my, oh my god. god. No way. It tries to go for it. He did oh, get that one, though. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't stand a chance there, but oof. But you know this is like the weekly special, too. The yeah. stands are just like... Rafi and DM, let me know when the next match is up. <laughs> they, they don't even seem phased, man. No. <laughs> They've been through this one too many times before. And, you know, Timor for a kind of like an eSports organization that probably isn't super well-known outside of kind of our area, mm -hmm. I, I kind of mess with their logo a bit. I don't know yeah. how, how much I love the jersey. The logo's, the logo's good. Definitely. Big fan of the wolf. Shout out to Devin on the cameras once again. <laughs> oh, and the other angle. You get the DM angle. You get the Rafi angle. And... A little bit of both back here. Game two, Pokemon Stadium. So what do you really think DM has to do here to kind of bring this back? That game one honestly wasn't that bad for him. No. Uh, but you know, he still couldn't quite get the edge. I feel like that's what DM kind of suffers a lot every week against Rafi. Right. He gets him down to the last talk. He has a percent racked up. But Rafi's always the one to find the KO first. That's the thing is, like, DM has to get Rafi to such a high percent. And he has, like, all of these, like, finicky confirms that he could go for but doesn't really want to commit to. 
he needs to get these combos. He needs to get more than just one or two hits per exchange, and he needs to get the kills early, like Raffi's getting with the side B, and obviously avoiding the side B. Stuff like that is what he needs, Flambo. Thank you. What an answer, man. I mean, For the visual learners at home. <laughs> oh, my oh God. stuff like that, that Flambo. <laughs> I'm about to say, I was like, he managed to get the stage spike and kill him? That would have been crazy at like zero? Yeah, stage spike, regular spike. Oh, I can I see it. I like that. Juicy, he went for the raw uh, up air, and that actually leads to some juicy conversion from Pikachu. Uh, unfortunately, was not quite able to connect it there, but I love that DM still often go for some of the more difficult conversions to try and get the maximum bang for his buck. Right. Unfortunately, just not being able to connect it right there. But I think some more courageous options like that, some of the high risk or low risk, high reward stuff could be good. This could be an opportunity as well. Nice charge on that. Oh, my God. Thunderbolt almost had me sweat. I'm saying, right? right. Oh, my God. The coverage from DM. And that's the great thing about Rob. Well, not Rob. <laughs> I guess that sucks for Rob. Works great for Pikachu, right? But Rob generally likes to mix up. Big Am I going to recover jolt. high? Yeah. Am I going to recover low? And Pikachu can go oh low physically oh. and then use that thunder to threaten the high. So it makes it really difficult for, uh, for Rafi to get down. That was a really tough situation for Rafi, too, because he was, like, running out of fuel. If that thunder hit him to the left, it might have been mm -hmm. it. So I know DM had that thought in the back of his mind, but still holding it down. No percent on this second stock of his. DM coming out with the answers, and then we're going to see, once again, I mentioned this before when we saw Raffi uh, on the screen, that full hop out of shield is really going to be his go-to answer, right. unless DM has something like super unshaped that he should grab. Just because Rob's out of shield options are kind of cheats. Right? Yeah. He doesn't really have a quick out of shield neutral air like a lot of characters have, or a back air, so he just loses a lot, just has to kind of reset to neutral, and that's right. where DM's able to capitalize. Yeah, generally you just see Raffi go for a jump in neutral air to try and reset, but... Gonna get him punished. Nice little drag down and up smash. DM answering right back with a game of his own. One to one. Keep going. I like that. That's the way to talk to him. You know, especially yeah. after that game one, it was close. D1 wasn't quite able to etch it out, but that game two, a whole lot more convincing. That's kind of what I want to see more of from DM. Now, we did have an explosive play in the beginning with that spike. Yep. Uh, who, know, who knows if he'll be able to get one of those every single game. Exactly. Right? All right, you got that game two, but can you still kind of carry that kind of that statement, that right. momentum, that feeling of empowerment into game three and just carry that to more neutral exchanges that lead to victory. And honestly, you know, it's just so hard to get a player with that stuff twice. Raffi, again, already so experienced in this particular matchup. It's hard to catch him with stuff. It's hard to catch him slipping. I'm surprised DM even got that first spike. I doubt he'll be able to manage many more. He's going to need definitely some trump cards if he wants to make it happen. He's boxing Raffi here. Has him in the corner, but just notice how Raffi isn't afraid to scrap. Now, right there, Raffi was forced to, to roll just because we were talking about it again. He doesn't have that out of shield option. So it's right. either I'm going to full hop or I'm going to roll out the corner and have to hope that DM doesn't guess correctly. Exactly. So far, it's been working out, but right now, I think DM is onto him right now. Oh my God. Perry Perry putting the pressure on. And this is actually something I'm very happy to see because I remember uh, when Ultimate Head first came out, we watched like. Uh, the Xanadu Weeklies, and we'd have, uh, who was it from Xanadu that was playing Rob? Uh, Wadi? Wadi? Yeah, I didn't know. I'm like, it was Wadi, right? Or, or, or part of me wanted to say ZD, and I was like, why? No. But the thing was, people were always saying, all right, when people start learning how to parry that neutral layer, uh, Rob's going to become a lot easier of a matchup to deal right, with. Right. And we're, we're seeing DM be very comfortable with that. Now, granted, that'll happen when you fight Raffi every week. Right, right. But right. you can see how that can be applied to the matchup and really make it lead to something. Definitely a good point, though. I mentioned it. You know, power shielding the neutral layer was so big in Smash. 4 and parrying, obviously, mm -hmm. the neutral air, a big part in the matchup here in Ultimate. But also, getting the stocks is very important. DM's going to have to make something happen right now. 165, it's a lot of rage on Rob, and one of those could be all it takes for Raffi to get the lead. Oh, up throw. Yeah, yeah, more than enough. My man deleted himself from the venue. <laughs> Go ahead and move on to that next stock. Is it going to close this out as well? Immediate nice. jump air dodge from DM. That just made it really easy for Raffi. Uh, you know, DM, if you got hit by the up air there, I don't even know if he would have died. But. Right. That's tough. I mean, it's less of a 50-50. Sometimes Raffi just does it to sort of put him in that position where they commit to the air dodge and then punishes him anyway. Okay. Force right. smash, get that damage. He's staying close. Up yes. close and person that. That quick attack just to close the distance and the spike to close the stock. All right, well, there it is. My prayer has been answered. He will find another one closing out that stock from Raffi early again. And I'm sure Raffi's probably even a little bit shaken up from that because that's sure. a big You don't really be hitting him like that. Right, and you can tell, like, going for some of the more bold options, some of the more committal options in that side B. You know Raffi's trying to even it up. There we go, the Frisbee combos. Oh, turns him around. <laughs> coast to coast. <laughs> 
That'd be stuck at the ledge. And like you said, not a lot of action here. Out of shield. What's the play? Gonna make it back. Oh, no, the air dodge. Running out of fuel, but GM caught Thunder Jolt in the wrong way. Trying to hunt his way in with Karafi X's personal space. Karafi can send him off stage and try to set up his Edgar scenario, but GM can just go high. And there's not really much Karafi can do to stop. And he's too slow of a character and was already committing to an offstage play. Right. Especially when the Thunder Jolt sort of puts him in shield. Get the up throw here, going for the up air. Gonna force an air dodge out from DM. Oh, oh, it works. The it works, it works. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. It almost seemed like DM was a little too shook, right? Like, right. We were just talking about how slow Rob is. He can just kind of commit to one of those options. Uh, but Raffi was just putting himself in a scenario where he felt as if he was being threatened enough and kind of forced that bad angle out of DM. It was a great idea, though. He just didn't quite have the spacing for it. Right. Nice work around the neutral there again from DM. But, oh, the down here, very surprising from Raffi. And DM just missing a little bit of a rough situation there. Could have been good. This is the thing, I'm getting flashbacks to game one now. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. Have DM, you know, has the percent racked up. Probably needs probably 15-ish more percent to go for that up smash KO. And then a scenario like this, you're going to air dodge immediately. No, this up air gets caught this time. That's it. Whoa. It's like... You have to guess right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There's, there's only so much you can do. And that time Ravi was just so quick quick with it. He just went for the immediate up air. Not that we see a lot from him. And obviously DM a little worked up about it. The DM was like, man, I don't want to air dodge again and get hit by that up smash. And exactly. Then, you know, guess wrong. But damn, damn. Face of the killer. Look at him. Look at him right into the camera. He's talking to me. Talking to the crowd. <laughs> Security of PCG. <laughs> I don't feel safe. <laughs> All right, running right back to Pokemon Stadium as we usually see with their sets. The littlest shield in the gyro just to reset it. Big combo opportunity here for DM. Let's see what the play is. Cool, 34. And I like that. He doesn't want to mess around with the platform too much. He just kind of ends the combo a little bit early, and guess what he knows will be guaranteed. Right. right Rafi doing a little bit of the same, though. Going to answer back 35 of his own. Okay. Like this, we're gonna go ahead and pick him up. Probably another forward air. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Guaranteed conversions coming from Rafi X, but he's still behind only by a slight bit, though, as DM manages to gain stage control. This is the opportunity here for DM. Actually, ends up getting punished himself. If you're DM now and you're thinking about this whole set, you know that you got that spike that you needed last game or whatever, and you still weren't able to close it out. That's hard. It's it's a hard thing to face going into this game for us. Oh, oh God, yeah, and there we go. That's Yo, Raffi talking to him in the camera. Oh, okay, Raffi. Ooh, with the sauce, he's getting Hell a little, little yeah. hyped up. He's getting real excited, bro. This is a rivalry. The thing I'm worried about is that, so I saw a tweet from DM maybe last week where he was like, I need to use quick attack more. It's so good. And we've seen him use it. But the thing is, he hasn't been spacing it in a way where it's actually been hitting Raffi. He keeps right. landing just outside of his range. We're actually been able to grab him to get either, you know, a throw conversion over here or exactly. something else. And that's not what I want to see from DM. I want to be able to see him kind of cross through Raffi, mix him up. But Raffi is running away with it again. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. But nice response from DM. Goes down there and spikes him. Whew, only 80%. DM can bring it back with one combo as long as this side B doesn't kill him. Let's see what we got. Yep. Neutral air drag down. Down. Oh. Okay, okay. Good stuff, DM. What's the play here? No air dodge from Raffi. Just taking a high way back. Back throw. He's looking for that good stuff, man. Falling now with the nice. pancake. Going to chase him down. Back air from Raffi. They're going to fight his way out of that. But what the heck? That gyro coming with the assist. I'm saying, is DM even listening to you, Flambo? <laughs> All right, but this is a big opportunity here. Raffi finally finding an opening now from the pressure with the gyro up here. Oh Not gonna connect. One more. He goes from platform to platform, and Raffi's just right there waiting for him, saying, "I know what you're gonna do. Please mix up your get out of jail option because I'm gonna hunt you down and make sure I put you right back behind bars." No way. All right. Not gonna kill. Thankfully, coast to coast. Thunder Joel coming in, in the quick attack, of course. What's huh? just kind of playing around right now? Just Oh, that's got to be it. Up throw off the platform as well. He never stood a chance. Oh, that's Civil War, bro. Every time he grabs a Pikachu under the platform, now you know he's going to up. Forward air into the down tilt. No big follow, but it puts the Raffi in a rough spot for sure. Nice. Oh, I cannot believe he didn't have a shield. Yeah, I was expecting it too. But just going to take that safe damage. Play here. Oh, wow. Crosses him up. Knocks him right back off stage. 
Alright, what's the play here? He's going off stage, trying to get him with the forward. You see where Raffi positions himself just far enough to the left where that falling fair isn't going to hit from BM. He's yes. able to kind of bide his time and work his way up with the gas. Again, just another experience in the matchup, showing its face in this particular game. Super smart up throw forward air. Oh, gets the air dodge out in time. Raffi's still trying to put the pressure on neutral air forward air. Some good little custom Rob combos. Didn't know he had it in him. And this is the thing. You can see it feels like, all right, you know, uh, not cat and mouse, but I guess robot and mouse. But the difference right. is here that the mouse is the one hunting down, right? We're watching yeah. DM try to chase down Raffi, and he's unable to find this KO. He's been fishing for it for a while now, and just nothing. I don't know, man. It's just, he's got all the traps set up, and it looks like DM might be on his last leg. Stash still. attack still not killing. 150. Oh, no. Up here almost taking it. <laughs> Jesus. That's got to be a coast to coast. 93.9 on DM. Up here almost bringing him to the blast zone. He's going to have to make some stuff happen, and it's got to be right now. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty precarious scenario for DM. He needs to rack up as much damage as he possibly can here. Because for Rack, he can start throwing out some rogue forward specials if sure. he so desires. Yeah. Or he can just kind of throw out moves he has out of like, now since he's so uh, barely damaged. Exactly. I mean, 64% though, now he's got to start to worry. I think two misspaced forward specials definitely could be death for him, but right now, still got a pretty comfortable lead. I mean, yeah, I'm saying, DM brought this back in a heartbeat. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Neutral air back here is good. Got to watch out for that Thunder Raffy, making it back to the ledge. Gyro's out. Lasers looking for the grab. You can see him, like, sort of stay near the platform on the left hand side. Very interesting. Oh right. my god. There's a gyro coming out. Laser once again, there's that dash grab we were talking about. Catches him jumping. It's all right, we're all good. He rolls in. I hear the sound of a back air. Every yep. single hit. A the thought of Raffi's how it... And how? that's game. <laughs> I was like, what, what word said heart? Uh, in case you guys can understand more. A Raffi's how it's heart. <laughs> um, but this, no. this set looks exhausting. Both of these players... Look at Raffi shaking his head. I mean, it's not like I haven't seen Raffi do that before. But no, but it's mentally and draining. emotionally draining. You saw how excited Rafi was in the beginning when he got that forward smash for the first stock. He was pumped. He was talking to DM. He was yeah, I know, so right? animated in the camera. <laughs> like, oh, you're my teammate, and now you're my mortal enemy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you play every week. You definitely uh, well, hold, a, hold some grudges. But then DM answers right back. Both these players are so good in the clutch. And we're seeing it now. Game five, this is going to be who is the best in the clutch, Flambeau. And here's the other thing I'm noticing as well. DM played all his cards right at the end of that last game. And of course he did, right? That's why he won. Right. But one thing I did notice that he went for that approaching forward or falling, and he said, all right, Raffi can't do anything. I know he's going to full hop. We saw him immediately jump exactly. to meet Raffi in the air. He knew exactly what Raffi was going to do. Now Raffi has to decide, am I going to stay in shield a little bit longer? Am I just going to drop shield and attack? Am I going to roll? Because now DM is scouting out those full hops out of shield. It's all about the levels. And right now, DM looks like he is just a little bit further along in the game than Raffi. 86% so far and counting, brother. Back here, neutral air in the back air is so good. DM is feeling the music yep. and is speaking to his soul as he's pushing forward against Raffi X here, really trying to find a way to close out this first stock. Raffi trying to get those little conversions he can, but you see right there, he overextended a little bit after that neutral air, trying to go for like a forward air conversion, but right. he did have the timing right and got hit for it. See, that's the thing too, is like if Raffi makes one misstep in his aggression, all of a sudden it's bad for him, and now you get up you know, back to the back throw, rather. Get stuff like that going. It's it's hard for you to commit if you're Raffi because another full hop, another full air. Exact same scenario again. Oh, okay. Nice. Reset it. Try and get another forward air coming. Fuel running low. Oh my god. You crack up your free damage. Up throw's gonna kill, so he doesn't even care so much anymore. So I get that right. grab now. I know you're dead, and that's what kill condition can fish for. Heck, even neutral air almost <laughs> taking it. 200 and change. Now Raffi probably just looking to just tack on whatever damage he can. Up there going to be it, catching the roll. Like you said, not so many options. Obviously, right. Raffi not looking to jump. Already got called out for that, so the last two options have been roll from the ledge. Or the Raffi, regular get up into roll. <laughs> exactly. The little timing makes up like that, but yeah. if you play Raffi enough, you don't get phased by it anymore. Ooh. Oh, no. He's not going to die, though. He's, Another yeah, one. Might oh. flambo. Oh, my God, the thunder. He is hitting him. Is he going down again? He, that's it. He doesn't have to. All right, but like I said, Flambeau, dude, the clutch. It's all about the clutch. Raffi going to even it up right now. Almost. Tries to go for it. 
even it up right now. But he had one stop. Bro, I tried to make a call, all right? I tried to make a call, but it's not looking good. Oh my god, he make it back. That's it. Oh, oh yes. That's gonna be a down air for sure. DM starting to pop off. He's trying to end it. He wants it so bad. Oh. No tech. Oh my god, oh, what, what is happening, happening down there? He's bringing them all over the place, but the down smash is gonna connect. Rafi somehow only taking 64%. DM. So intense in the player cam right now. Listen, I don't like to count a player out, but at this point, this it's, is DM's game to lose. Yeah, exactly. This is DM's game to lose. He's done all the hard work. He has 64%, sure, rack up maybe 40, 50% more, but after that, this game should be yours. I don't know, man. We saw Rafi had a game to lose, and DM managed to take it from Rafi. Can Rafi answer back and do the same in this game five? But that's going to be tough. Like, already, big throw here, forward air, not going to be it. Rafi in a rough spot, bro. 117. Oh. oh no. This is how it gets started though. Huh? Quick attack. DM man, he's comfortable racking you up to 200 and going for that up throw, especially yeah. since you know, he pretty much has it in the bag. Now look for that condition. Oh! Raffy rolling out and not full hopping this time. Oh my god, the side B again coming in, getting punished with the up air into the forward air. DM tacking on the damage. But Raffy trying to still make some plays. The dash attack, gonna be it. DM takes it. There Game. We go. DM, honestly, looking, he's smiling a little bit there. Finally cracked a smile. Looks like him and Rafi are going to go ahead and have a little bit of a conversation. But, man, right. what, a, what a way to end that. I'm actually kind of I'm proud of DM for that one. Yeah. Man. Uh, and that, that's always a matchup that DM struggles with at the weeklies. Uh, and he was able to get it on Rafi this time here at a, not a weekly, Ultimania, bigger tournament, exactly. are hard hitters. And not only that, but, you know, I hope next time maybe he'll be able to do it in a 3-1.